the 19 things that I'm recommending you do to jumpstart your 2019. This is your first day in real estate, and I am your real estate sales trainer and coach, James Festini. And this is the program that's going to teach you how to sell more real estate in less time. For your real estate agent, over 1,000 homes sold. Me, these are all worth probably 250 to $500,000. Those are the Oscars. Those are just in the time that I've been with this Century 21 office. I've got another. <clears throat> Anyhow, clocking 300 Gs. Single agent. And when I say single agent, I don't mean like I've got, it's just me and my face and I've got like a group of people behind me. I, I do mean single agent. My wife is also my assistant um, of 18 years. I do everything and then she does everything else. Or I would say that I do very little and she does everything. Either way, we're a pretty good team, but I'd say I work harder. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys <clears throat> for joining me. That is my intro. Uh, I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I do have products. I'll, I'll probably insert them every once in a while, but otherwise make sure that, <clears throat> make sure that you're in here. I may have to clear my throat and blow my nose every once in a while too. I just got over the hella flu, like perfect timing for the end of the year to say, close it out, detox, get it all out. So I might have to stop to do that. <clears throat> okay. So let's go. First thing I want to do, I, I've sectioned these off into four uh, areas. And, you know, I could probably fire up a little bit of doodle to uh, give you guys some extra animation here uh, with this seminar so that I could draw on the screen and do all sorts of really cool stuff, type something. Let me see. Um, and so I've sectioned it off this, this seminar into uh, four blocks, four areas of interest that I recommend. And look, I've got a product out there called T100. It's just releasing like this week, today, probably. By the end of the day, it's going to be called T100. And it's going to be your next 100 days. But it's also in conjunction with a theory that I've developed over the last couple of weeks that is going to change. It's going to be an absolute game changer for 2019 for me. And I'm going to be definitely cro across that 500,000 mark. I, just watch. Just relax. Just watch. I promise you. The $500,000 <clears> mark in sales based on this um, on this discovery. And let me see if I can get this uh, little textable here. It's going to work for you. There. Yeah, there we go. Does that do much for you? It sure does for me. I wonder if I can get 19 items in there. <clears throat> Probably not. Probably not. It's so have to shrink it. Okay. So I've, I've organized these into four different se sections. I've called it self, like yourself, what you need to do to improve yourself and, and burst yourself into the scene, um, into being a top agent. Uh, most of my business has always been, I don't have, that's the thing too, is when I find a real estate agent, I look into what they're doing to see, is it something that's duplicatable? Is it something that can work for me? If you go into this real estate business, and you see someone doing like 50, 80, 100 transactions a year, you have to dig a couple levels deeper and ask yourself, is that something you can do? I guess it is something you can do, but if they have a lock on it, it's called a niche and you can't really like enter that same niche the same way unless you're really like a chameleon and adaptable. But you can, in fact, take portions of what they're doing and create your own niche that makes you comfortable, makes you strong. So not everyone's going to be good at everything, but you can learn. And so I, uh, the things that I've always discovered is that you you can look at your heroes and at your um, at, at the ones who do more business than you, but are they you? No. So you've got to work on yourself. And this is going to be about uh, the first section is going to be the first 15 minutes is I'm going to spend on uh, your self-improvement. The next one is you're going to be business improvement. These are all things to, again, jumpstart and improve your, your 2019. The third thing is going to be client acquisition, maintenance, not Clint, <laughs> uh, uh, ENT client. What the hell? I can't spell this here either. C-L-I-E-N-T. And the last one is going to be the sale. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, whether or not you know it, you're in a sales business. So I'm going to teach you about the sales. So the first one is going to be the first one is going to be the self, working on the self. Um, do you look like crap? Like seriously? I mean, do you have facial hair? This is going to be really weird, but this is so real for you. 
if you are, if you have a greasy face, men in particular, it's not that hard to wash your face or get a paper towel. There's nobody out there whose face over the age of 20 is so damn greasy and slimy that you can't get like every time you go to the bathroom, you wash your hands, grab a big wad of paper towel and start wiping your face. It, I know this is going to be weird, but there's something, there's a reason why women in particular wear foundation. It's because they want their skin to look smooth and like flat. You ever see people who are like, like shiny? It just look, and there's this element of smarmy and sticky and greasy and gooey and untrustworthy. I mean, this, this it, 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 don't let me get this, you know, over your head here or like, what the hell is he talking about? But you are your product. You are your brand. This is about yourself, your, your image, or you guys have heard your brand. And we're going to work on a brand identity. And the brand identity is, you guys want to look on a brand? You're like, oh, what's my brand? What's my brand? What's my brand? Here's your brand. Pull out your cell phone, turn on the camera. If you see yourself, that's your brand. What does it look like? Are there like weird highlights or are there blotches because you're not wiped down? I don't know. I just, I've got this thing about greasy face. I like just wipe it down. You know, if your nose is shiny, get a towel. Don't use your hands. Your hands are greasy. Ladies know what I'm talking about. They'll be like, yeah, it's, it, there's something about being a little more fresh and crisp. Another one, Visine. I can't do without Visine. My, if you're, I, if you're going to look someone in the eyes, why should they be bloodshot and droopy and red? Again, the eyes are the wind of the soul. Your brand is your face. It's so minim, minimal, but with a, like a, a men in particular, a wipe down with a wet rag of your face and two drops of your Visine and shave, right? Maybe 2019 is the year that you get rid of that mustache. Unless you're Tom Selleck, ain't no one wearing a mustache, right? I know it might be hip and everybody knows, you know, beard, but there's also a lot of psychology and study behind um, kids, like babies, that they'll do these uh, studies. They'll do these studies that will show a picture of a baby. Uh, a baby. They'll show two images to a little baby, a little baby, wah, 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 walking up to these, and they'll show the same picture of a man one with a beard and a mustache and one without the same man shaved and the baby's attracted to the clean face. Okay. There's something about clean cut and fresh that people want to work with people who have energy and look good and they're presentable and professional. I don't want to make a bunch of clones. I don't want a bunch of, you know, um, with a real slim shady, please stand up. But I do believe that men clean groomed your nails, your brand. This is your brand. Like me always in a suit every day in a suit. That is your brand. So uh, any way you slice it, guys and, you know, and gals, ladies, you're doing all right. Just keep doing what you're doing. No, not too much makeup. Don't, you know, don't do too much skanky and you'll be all right. Okay. Well, it depends on what area you work in, but men and women just pay attention to your brand. The next thing is going to be now, where do you take your brand? Where do you share your brand? It's going to be item number two is uh, polish up your social. It's going to be your social feed. What does it look like? These are the things, these are the steps. I want I want you to leave this webinar with steps. So hopefully you're writing this down. I'll give you the workbook uh, over the weekend. The, the step here is going to be your social, your social brand. If you do not have professional photos, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Nowadays, before back in 93, when I started, you had to go to a studio. Now you just go to ask somebody, anybody with an iPhone, tell them to wipe the lens. Pro tip, wipe the lens. Tell them to wipe the lens and then take 50 effing photos of you. 50 photos. Just bam, make faces. <laughs> Whatever. Tell jokes, talk, conversation. Down and go snap, 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 snap. And then take those 50 photos and judge yourself. But don't be the judge. Send it to a friend. Send it to family. You know, post it on, you know, narrow it down. Ask your children. Ask your spouse. You are not the judge of what you look like. How many times have you looked at an image where you're like, Ugh, and your significant other goes, you look hot. And you're like, oh, delete. Just trust me. You don't know crap about what good looks are. Everybody else does. All right. So you just got to go with what everyone else knows. It's just weird that way. You can never see. It's kind of like when you hear your own voice, if you record your voice and you hear it back and you're like, oh, I sound like that. Mm, yes, you do. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do. And guess what? So does everybody else. Not a big deal. So just don't be afraid to own yourself or move to another planet or get plastic surgery. If those are options, then do that. If another planet is not an option. Plastic surgery is not an option. Guess what? You're perfect just the way you are. Now, wipe your face, drop some Visine. Ladies, put just a nice little amount of makeup, dress clean. You're good to go. But work on your social image, not just social, uh, but being socially awkward is a thing. You don't have to be like, hi, everybody. Just want to let you know I'm selling real estate today. Happy, happy. If you or anybody you know is interested in buying or selling real estate, I'm always more than happy to provide a high level. So well, come on, puke. Come on. This is 2019. People, man, the BS radar. There's an app. We have, we have conditioned and trained ourselves to be so hypersensitive now to the crap that we are absolutely zero tolerance for bull crap. And you know what's the easiest way to be full of it? Not be yourself. Just learn to be yourself. If you don't know how to be yourself through social platforms, look at people. Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen, that dude was himself. Like in a place where being him was not accepted, that guy was just like, I don't give a. And you know people like this. Look at them and say, why can't I be more like them? Be more, emulate and be more like people who are like, man, they just don't give a damn. They don't, you know, they got no front to put on. And that's your social, that's who, you know, socially awkward. That is your persona. So I want to make sure that you polish your social and then it's going to go into social media, the presentation. So now we're only on item number two, but we're talking brand, your image, your actual physical elemental, you know, greasy face or white face and your social, your presence, your, you are like the two, you are mental and elemental and your, your brand is the element of you, you know, carbon, oxygen, all that good stuff, water. And then you are the mental, the stuff that doesn't happen, the stuff that comes out of your mouth. And if you can be yourself and own yourself, oh my God, you can make so much money in this business. You have no idea how much you look at the top producers, look at the top producers. Yes. A couple of them are totally full of themselves, but the other ones, the ones that have sustained a, a realistic income over the last X amount of years, they're happy, they're relaxed, they're themselves, they're having a good time. And you're like, why can't I be more like that? Because you're a greasy face full of crap, you know, a-hole who, who is too, you know, overly concerned about what everybody thinks and you're awkward. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Clean yourself up, you know? Uh, your brand is your car, your image, your impression, everything. Like from, you know, if you don't have to have a nice car, but your car should be clean, right? Why wouldn't your car be clean? Your window's spotless. Everything needs to be spotless. If you've got a really ugly car parked down the street, but everybody's got to start from somewhere. That's all there is to it. And you have no excuse. There's enough stories out there of people starting from zero. Trust me. Who did I see? I, I heard a podcast the other day where there was one girl. What was it? I'm not sure what the podcast was, but it was a girl who was pretty much living out of her car, like homeless. And now she's a top agent somewhere in LA. Um, maybe you know who she is, but she's legit. And she came from a zero. When you're living in your car, if you're not living in your car, you're totally at the top already. Okay. Now this girl's like, living in her car with her kids, by the way. She had like one girl living with her. It's horrible. You want to hunger, man. You want hunger? We're going to get to that. All right. So uh, polish your social also is going to be, including is going to be your social. And that also includes, um, you know, it's going to be self and media, your impression that everybody else gives, that you give everybody to the world, social media. So let's take a look today. Go to Facebook, go to Twitter, go to LinkedIn, go to Pinterest, go to Snapchat. We're going there. Go to Instagram. Am I forgetting any? No, I don't think so. Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, LinkedIn, the big five, Twitter, big six. Go to them. And remember what I was telling you about taking those images and getting those images. You go to the you go to the the Apple, the, the new iPhone, and they have a thing called portrait. You can get professional portraits. Find that money shot. 
and have it be like, you know, from your, I don't know, your, your stomach, your belly button to the top, just have a good full shot. I don't care if you're fat, don't matter. I'm a fatty. It don't matter. Don't matter. Unless you're going to go get plastic surgery before you go, you are, you get over yourself. You are your brand. If you're, if this is, this is, this is not a business where you can hide behind a computer and hide behind a wall. This is not internet. Uh, this is not, um, you know, direct to consumer mail, mail marketing. You're, you're like, you're going to, see, they're going to see you. Okay. They're going to see you own it. Okay. So you're fat be fat. If you're skinny, be skinny, get over it. We love you. <laughs> but becoming a digital mayor is going to be the next one. So go through your self, your, yourself, your media, your social media. And then the next thing we're going to really start getting into the nitty gritty um, <clears throat> becoming a digital mayor. This is a term that I think Gary Vaynerchuk talked about. And, uh, it's, it's going to be, uh, you want to say digital mayor. That's a weird thing. I'm not a huge fan of saying becoming a media company first. If you follow Gary Vaynerchuk or just, you know, a lot of people who follow Gary Vaynerchuk, they like to take what he says seriously. And it's about becoming a digital mayor and becoming a brand ambassador for your community. But there are so many ways for you guys to really, really become well known in a community. And whatever social media platform you're used to, own it. But you might have to what's called syndicate or perpetuate or repurpose your creations. And so this is going to be um, about becoming a digital mayor. You're going to be trying to find the things that interest you, whatever that is, underwater basket weaving, hemp. I don't know if like that's a good one. <laughs> um, cycling, uh, dog walking, Labradors, um, sewing, um, children is a huge in common. We're talking like, are your kids on football teams, basketball, baseball, soccer, can you be there, but provide some sort of like buzz around your brand that provides an unconnected value to your real estate industry, yet still brings people into, that's cool. Oh, they sell real estate. See, because you can't always be hitting everybody up being like, oh, you know, I, 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 anybody, you know, I'd love more than anything. I can do the referral. It's very hard. You know, everyone always says when you first get into the business, hit your path, hit your, hurt, get some referrals from friends and family. So how many friends and family do you have? Let's assume you're the most popular kid in high school. You got 150 friends. What are you going to do? And put them in a database. You're going to call them and say, that's it. But they know you as Joe Blow, you know, bonehead. And so they're not going to be like, oh, he's an agent. now. I just happen to be selling my property. I'll just give it to him. No, <laughs> even your best friend will betray you. So don't go thinking that that's the way it's going to be. But if you are yourself and you've got a good brand and you've got a good impression, people will be more susceptible to saying, you know what? I like that guy. He's a hard worker and he, he you know, he provides, he's in the community, he's local. People like a hard working local agent, right? They, don't you get that all the time? We're like, he's a hard, she's a hard worker and they're local. That combination there, I've, I've termed a phrase, a coined a phrase called I guess the golden egg, the, the goose that lays the golden egg. And this is something that is the ultimate goal in the real estate world is to have the goose that lays the golden egg. And the goose that lays the golden egg for our real estate industry is to be the number one agent. What does the number one agent in the office or in the industry have in the area? They have a database of individual people who are in what's called a sphere of recognition. You ever hear that phrase? It's my phrase. I made that up. Not a sphere of influence, not a, uh, you know, <clears throat> not a past clients, not a sphere of influence, but it's an overall sphere of recognition where you're one degree away from somebody knowing you and saying, go with them, where you get, you start getting these agents, these top agents. I mean, I've been the most popular agent in a city and I started over in this city three years ago and I'm starting to get there anyhow. And that's the cool thing is that I, I've, I've reinvented myself several times. And in 2016, I left a 50 side, 50 sales a year community and I picked up, moved 
20 miles, 30 miles away and drop back down with zero past clients, severe influence or anything to prove once again that this method works. And there are growing pains. You know, I had to take a step back, but it's working, absolutely working. And what uh, the the thing is, is that the, the things that I had to, the, what I left in that previous territory, what I don't have now just yet again, is a goose that lays the golden egg. And that is to be the most recognized name in real estate for your sphere of interest, sphere of recognition, where everybody kind of knows you. And, you, and you, I see your signs everywhere. How many of you guys have done that? Where like, if you guys are on top of your game, where they get that, I see your signs everywhere. I see your name everywhere. I had to list with you because I see you everywhere. You get to that point in the business. You don't need a door knock. You don't need a cold call. You, you don't need to spend all sorts of money on anything. They just sit back and they're order takers at that point. And then once you get to that point, you could do that in five years with a lot of hard work, 10 with less work, but consistency. Okay. So I promise you, I can get you there. I'm getting there myself. It's not a, not a, a choice. So, and, and how's that going to tie into being the digital mayor? The digital mayor is someone who provides value and content related to your community. And it gives you an outlet for being connected and being recognized in this sphere of recognition, meaning that you are going to be providing, for example, have you been on those web pages or inside of your local community? If you have not, here's a big tip. Um, they're usually called a uh, buzz market. There's a, there's agents out there now they're selling these things where it's like, be the buzz agent too late, man. Every city already has one, if not two. And what that is, it's a Facebook group where it's like in my town, it's called the Yorba Linda buzz, the Anaheim Hills buzz, the placentia buzz. You dig? And what this does is it gets everybody in the city and before, and by the time it gets to about 5,000, it started getting real spammy and then everyone's just talking crap on Donald Trump and then it's over, but <laughs> it's pretty spammy, but you'll get people in there. Hey, I'm looking for an orthodontist. I'm looking for da da da. But if you'll find, you will find that 95, I would say 99% of those buzz pages were originated by realtors before it caught on and became, by the time you buy into a product that someone says, do this, it's probably too late. You don't hear about it. I knew about it, but I, I didn't do it because I was in a different town and I had, a, and I have another formula for you, which um, helps to become a digital mayor, but to become a digital mayor is that you provide contribution into those platforms. How do you come up with this information? Um, Again, going back to that T100 program that I'm launching at the end of this webinar, you go to James Festini and you'll see it, uh, jamesfestini.com, T100. You'll see it right there front and center. Um, well, actually, they're probably under <clears throat> jamesfestini.com forward slash training. Fine, it's under my coaching products. You'll see big black like T100. And it's going to be 100 days of everything. You, so everything I'm telling you right now, these like tidbits, I go into each one of these. It's about 100. It's 100 videos at about 20 to 50 minutes a piece that dive deep into each one and my point over here into each one of these is like brand is like a 30 minute video social digital mayor that digital mayor is, is about a three hour worth of video because now we're talking about implementing platforms and syndicated softwares to alert you when keywords like i'm going to use um anaheim everybody knows anaheim right the city of, let's say Los, Los, Los Angeles is way too big. Um, Anaheim, let's say Anaheim is around me or Yorba Linda, that's where I live. I've incorporated softwares, free softwares and some are a little bit paid where it will alert me, where I curate a newspaper. It's called Feedly, by the way, if you want to know, I'm going to drop the bombs everywhere. <clears throat> it's going to be Feedly. And I tell Feedly, if the word Yorba Linda comes up on the internet, anywhere on the internet, I want to know. And then you can automate other things where it's like, if the word your Belinda comes up anywhere on the internet, I want, I I've created what's called your Belinda radio. This is my version of the buzz. I've created a podcast called your Belinda radio. And that's part of 2019's plan is a podcast radio of the content that I curate as to be a digital mayor. In my previous territory, I created this Lake Elsinore radio and it had about 1500 residents, zero ad spend, engagement uh, up the wazoo people advertisers were coming to me locally saying how do we advertise how do we promote that i mean i did nothing and you want to talk about the next generation of this buzz page podcast under my formula which i teach you in that t100 step by step how to do it 
you become the digital mayor, you tell the internet to tell you everything you need to know about that city. And if you want to simplify it, just go with feedly.com, get the, get the app and download it. And anytime the word your Belinda pops up, you can go in there every morning and then go in there and share, boom, share, boom, share it, share it within your social network, especially if you don't have anything to say about the city, then you have nothing to say about the city. But if your city puts on a, if they're opening up like, um, my city's going to be opening up a Chipotle. Hallelujah. They're going to be opening up a Chipotle. And you don't think I'm going to be there with my suit, park my van there front and center. If I could find out where the cameras are going to be for, you know, the local whatever, I'm going to park my van, my big Festini wagon, my fest the Festini mobile or right there where everybody's like, there's Festini down everywhere. Go, man. That guy's everywhere. You got to be everywhere. So uh, this is a very long topic. I don't want to get into it, but becoming a digital mayor by starting a podcast, by having your social platforms laid out and learning the techniques is just too much for me to like get into this. This is like a seriously a four hour. I was charging people a thousand dollars to say, let me help you set it up. And we would set you up with a podcast, get you on iTunes, get you on Stitcher, Spreaker Radio, get your artwork, uh, get, you know, your microphone set up, teach you how to do it, get it so that it's posted, be able to get the automation through uh, Zapier or if this then that, have it syndicated each time, make sure that it's filled filtered so that you don't get real estate agents who post their stuff on their vlog, putting it on your stuff. It is a monster of a task. Like that's a whole side hustle. If you're interested in launching a local podcast, if you're interested in launching a local podcast, my fee's a thousand bucks because it's going to be literally, I don't even want to charge that little. It, it, it is a, a behemoth but then it's training you how to maintain it. And then you have to be a radio personality to do a podcast. You gotta be a radio personality. Otherwise you're going to be reading it since 1993. I have done that. It's going to be a horrible thing, but if you can read it and you can have your own TV show and digital mayor, that's how you do it. Create content and be on top of the content. So if you're not an interesting enough personality, use other platforms, every city. And I've done this 20 times for people creating this digital mayorship. Every city, you can get an RSS feed or a syndicated feed that will tell you what's happening in your town through the public library, through the high school, through the um, police department, through the city hall, through the, I mean, uh, elementary school, five, four or five elementary schools, two junior high schools, you know, one high school. There are a minimum of 10 outlets that every day-ish post something on the internet, but you don't see it because you don't know where to look about your town. What if you could funnel that into a newspaper for you so that the day that news comes out, you're the one to break it. Hey, did you know Chipotle is going out? And it was like, Ooh, Chipotle. And they're like, Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. And you're like, Hey, what's, that's what I do, man. I'm an agent. I'm supposed to tell you that. Oh, you're an agent. Oh, <laughs> and you do that in the buzz. You can't go in there. Hi, I'm an agent. Come with me. I think they'd be like, what do you, did you read the terms of service in this group? Oh yeah, no, I didn't. But when you start your own town radio and then just little by little, build it, build it, build it, slap an ad in the, slap an ad in there, slap an ad in there, hit up the, uh, head up the, hit up the person who curates that buzz and be like, Hey, I've launched a news site for this particular city. And would it be all right if I could, I don't know, throw a hundred bucks in there and I could run you know, an ad every couple of weeks, or whatever they'll be like, Wow, money for my yeah okay sure, and trust me it's it's a thing. Forget if you actually got your forget it if you actually got this thing big enough to where the insurance you know the local insurance agent from your town is like dude I see man you're very active in that page and you're creating content for a community. Do you advertise? I, get, I used to have agents all the time on my previous one. Agents, insurance agents, I kept it clean. I didn't advertise in it. Um, car dealerships, I was getting car dealerships. I was getting insurance agents. I was getting pizza places. They were all like, can we advertise in this thing? Because it's it's good. Like you're, And I'm like, I didn't want to deal with it because then I'd be like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, you owe me for this week's ad. And it's like, I don't know. But it's a side hustle. It's a side hustle. Absolutely. You can definitely do it. Um, this new real estate agents uh, group is doing it. <laughs> Anyhow. So what a, what a, what a can of worms to even get me started on such an, a massive undertaking, but such a, wow, if you could do it, I can teach you, find me, pay me. <sighs> okay. Um, when you do create and you start beginning to create this kind of content, you want to be a digital mayor, you know, 
you have to work on your strengths and you got to let your passion fly, man. I, I, like I said, um, Freddie Mercury, <laughs> right? Okay. The next one. God, oh man, we're going to, this is going to be running longer. Ugh, I hate this, man. I got 30 minutes. Oh God, God, I got so much to give you. Have any of you guys ever been on my YouTube channel? I am broadcasting this on YouTube. So you guys know, but the 11 of you on this new agent site, have you guys been to, I got this, this lot of stuff there. Like I can't, I'm going to move along here. <sighs> I'm gonna have to skip stuff. Okay. So number, uh, number four is uh, learn video, learn video. So sorry. I hate to tell you this, but video is the wave of the future. I'm going to tell you a few things real quick about video. First of all, it's going to suck. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, your videos suck ass. And guess what? It don't matter. Also, I got a, I got news for you. I got big news for you. You are not going to go viral. I don't worry about somebody seeing your crappy video. You're not, no one's going to find it. You pray to God that your crappy ass video gets seen. I work hard on my YouTube and my vlog. I do a daily vlog where I interact with you guys all day and it's on YouTube. But if you guys think for one second that you're going to put out a video that's going to change things for you, go to hell, get over it. Okay. Not going to happen. And if it does happen, Oh man, you got, you hit the jackpot. You better know what you're doing. If that happens, man, I don't know. I don't know how to help you, but you better figure it out. <laughs> you know, you could be the next Chewbacca mom. And then when you get on Ellen, you're like, no, actually I'm a real estate. You know what? You guys hey, everybody. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not Chewbacca. I'm a realtor. <laughs> Jeez, man. Relentless. All right. So, um, let you, uh, so find yourself, let your passions fly, 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 learn video. And I'll make a quick, very quick tutorial on video. You ready? Here's the best effing tool you will ever get from me. Snapchat. That's right. Snapchat, ladies and gentlemen, Snapchat. Okay. Oh my, <laughs> Snapchat. All these kids are sending dick pics. I want that. My kids are going to laugh at me. Shut up. Snapchat is a video editor software. It is not a nudie pic for teenagers. It is a video editing software. This will produce full length videos for you. You ready? Snapchat. You ready? You open up Snapchat. Oh, if you can't have gotten this far, get a Snapchat account. Do not make it donkey punch one, two, three, at whatever. It is not. It is your name. Anna Templeton, Tonya Cobb, Latonia Thorogood, Anna White, Ida, Mike Crespo, Juan Gomez, Lenny Brady, and go in there in Snapchat. George Berger, Benjamin Reen Snyder, Carla Flores. Your name. Stop with this crap. As far as I'm concerned, your social media suck. Do not go in there with horse hat lady one, two, three. That is not your brand. Oh, but I got like a hundred followers there. Well, tell them to, if they're really your followers, tell me you've changed. If you got like 10,000 followers, then that's a whole different animal. But even then, if you really have true, you know, 10,000 true followers, you'd be like, Hey guys, sorry, I'm doing a brand rebranding because it's, it's crap. Anyhow. It's crap anyhow. If they're followers, they'll follow you. If they're followers, they'll follow you. Damn. All right. So I'm getting pissed because this is stuff that's like, I'm 40, 46 years old. If you're younger than me, you got no excuse. If you're older than me, I'm eliminating your excuse. Okay. Um, so I just had an event pop up here. Let me just adjust this here and um, I'm going to push her out. Okay. I'm giving you guys way too much here and it's way too much deepness. Okay. Snapchat real quick. You ready? I open up Snapchat. There's a video software right now. I push my button on that video. And I say, Hey everybody, I'm doing a live video webinar right now on YouTube on your top 19 things that you should be doing at 2019. Done. Right. Okay. So that goes to Snapchat. And then I go in there and I hit it again. This topic is on. So now what it's doing is Snapchat takes slices, five second video slices. You hit record, you stop. And it goes here. Hit record, stop, goes there. Hit record, stop, goes there. And it's taking these five, 10, 15 second slices up to 40, I think, for maybe even a minute. Slices. Just get, get whatever you got to say, say it, stop. Get whatever you have to say, say it, stop. Get whatever you have to say, stay. And it'll take these 50, 60 second snippets. If you can get that crap out of your mouth, 
right? Wipe your face down, drop some visine, get good lighting, right? Let a couple little extra tips that you need to know. Wipe the lens, wipe the lens, for fuck's sake. <sighs> wipe the lens, you got a really nice camera. Wipe the damn lens. Get the damn five, 10, 15 second snippets. And at the end of the day, what you can do is you can go to Snapchat and be like, hey, Snapchat, can I have all of those and give them to me mm, in a little, like, just put them together? <laughs> okay, so what it'll do, and here's, here's for my glasses, by the way. January 3rd, 2019 is my intention to go to the gym this morning and start my fitness track myself. Watch it jump. See how it jumped to the next scene? Okay, so I'm just showing you a quick example. You see all those slices right there? So now because I'm using this with my glasses, my glasses force 10 second snips, so it's not as rapid fire. But you see what it's doing? Are you guys witnessing the, the, the impressiveness of this? So I'm walking here. This is not exactly what I'm telling you to do because it's 10 second snippets. But are you seeing this? Are you witnessing the video creation of just what's called a vlog? Guess what? Nobody cares. Nobody watches it. But it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're creating. I think a life worth living is a life worth recording. And that's why I bought a pair of glasses if you guys want these, the, you really want a super pro tip, buy these mofos, Snapchat. High def, 1080p camera. Put on here, start snapping 10 second snippets. Oh, they look pretty cool, right? I think, I, well, you know, it's, it's not the glasses, it's the wear. Right there, I take a 10 second video and now I am recording a, what? It's gonna be like an hour and a half webinar. Hopefully you guys appreciate it on your top 19 things to do in 2019. See how it stopped? You can buy little things to hide that. Now that is going to go to my Snapchat. Snapchat is going to pick up on that and say, hey, I got your video. What do you want to do with it? And I'm going to say, stick it on my camera, post it to Snapchat. I'm good to go. Watch, there it is right there. And my Snap story, where the heck is it? Five percent. It's not going to sink. Oh, damn it! I didn't charge it last night. It's going to send it to there. I send it. So now, what happens? What happens? I'll make this very fast. You take those five second snippets, and those are five second videos. Guess what? There's a thing called Instagram. You heard of it? Instagram also stole everything from Snapchat and said we want that element too. So if you open up your Instagram, at the very top, you see this little lines of bubbles. That's not Instagram. That's Instagram Stories. It's a completely different product. Completely different product. So there's a line here. There's bubbles up here, and then there's Instagram, the feed, the one single line item of everything you have to go down. This feed goes this way. These are the snaps. This is Snapchat, but called Instagram. So you post all that shit to Snapchat. Who gives a crap? It's there. Now you get from Snapchat at the end of the days and you say, hey, give me all of those little slices at the end of the day. Give me all of them. I want them. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to put them on my hard drive on my phone. Fine. You're going to go to Instagram at the end of the day and you're going to go to Instagram and you say, Instagram. Take all of these Snapchat 10 seconds and put it into Instagram stories. Now, Instagram bup, 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 has the same story of the course of the day. Hi, I'm just here at my open house today. Oh my God, it's totally slow, but it doesn't mean the mark is not hot, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know one, two, three, you know what? Let me give you a quick tour. Flip the camera around. Do one, two, three, two, three. Hey, just da, 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 da. you can turn on your video. You can turn on the music. You can play music through your phone. You get good enough and you can add music into this thing. You can put a, get a second phone or a little speaker and put some music. You can over, uh, there's, <laughs> send it to Instagram, slices of the day. And then you tell Instagram, hey, Instagram, you, you owned by Facebook, right? F Instagram goes, yeah, I'm owned by Facebook. Could you send these little snippets to Facebook? They're like, sure. Why? because I want it there. Guys and gals, have you noticed Insta Have you noticed Facebook? Have you looked on Messenger, Facebook Messenger? And if you go to Facebook on desktop, Facebook Messenger, at the very top of Messenger, 
right there at the top. You see that little, all those right there? You know what that is? That is Instagram stories. And you set up your Instagram stories to go to Facebook. Now you're telling Facebook stories. So I shoot one video on Snapchat. I take it to Instagram. Instagram sends it to Facebook. Now I've got three different places where I'm telling the same effing story. Oh, everyone's going to get bored. No one's going to watch my story. Have you seen Gary Vaynerchuk? The dude is, he, he's all over the place. The same story over and over. You guys are big Gary Vaynerchuk fans. The guy's same content. It's regurgitating the hell out of it, but he's doing it to a higher level. He's got 20 people helping him. You can't have that much. You're not an, you're, you're a real estate agent for crying out loud. So let's move on. Oh my God. I haven't even gotten it. <gasps> this seminar is going to have to be three parts. There's going to be, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this in one hour. I've got too much to tell you. I hope I'm, are you guys okay? Like you guys good. Is this good information or no? All right. I'm just going to pound out the next several of them. Ah, oh, there's so much. There's so much. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to go to 19, but I'm giving you some seriously good stuff. This is really good. Can I get an amen somewhere in here? I cannot believe there's no comments. Is this thing on? Anyhow, I'm going to go back to work. All right. Learn to do this. Learn to do it. At the end of the day, you take those 10 stories and you go, you know what? I movie, put them together in one. Guess what? Those 10 seconds times 10, that's 110 seconds. Now you have an entire one minute, two minute, three minute movie. How many did you create? That video that I just showed you is seven minutes long. That video is seven minutes long that I just showed you of me at on vacation. This is seven minutes long. No one cares. I know, but it's going to YouTube. I'm creating a documentary of my life and it doesn't matter. You don't care. Don't watch it. It's not for you. It's for me. You see, because step one, I'm not attached to the outcome. I'm my brand, but I'm my social self and I'm going to just be myself. And if you don't like it, so what? But I got people watch it because they're like, this guy's funny sometimes, right? He's funny sometimes. Thank you for the amen, Jessica. One person out of 10 is actually paying attention. Thank you. I have to sneeze. Maybe off camera. Welcome to the Festini Factor, a weekly program that every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're going to get a piece of content, actionable items, something that at $50 a month will be an absolute no brainer. Every weekday, you're going to receive one video. Monday, we're going to have motivational messages. Monday mindset is what it's called. One of the questions everyone asks, how do I keep going? I'm going to let you in on that the Monday motivational. Tuesday is going to be technology. Every Tuesday, I'm going to deliver you a message about the latest and greatest technology, whether it's old school or new school. Every week, you're going to get a technology Tuesday tip. Wednesday, Wednesday is marketing. Whether you do it online or you're going old school, if you're going door to door and you're creating marketing pieces, you're creating flyers, every Wednesday I'm going to deliver to you actionable plans, actionable items where you can download a template for marketing, whether it's an email marketing piece or an actual printed piece that you can take with you to the doors or a mailer that you can do. You can start adding and building your letter library. Wednesday is going to be marketing pieces, the world of marketing marketing. That's a big day for us. Thursday. Thursday is going to be sellers exclusively dedicated to handling sellers, either obtaining listings, negotiating contracts, scripts, dialogues, expires for sell by owners, you name it. If it's a seller, I'm going to cover it. And of course, Friday, the last day of the week, setting you up for the weekend buyers. Every Friday, I'm going to give you tips and pieces of advice on how to generate buyer leads, how to handle buyer leads. And that includes negotiating that, how to get your offer accepted, how to write the perfect offer, a, a whole system that I share with you so that you can go out there and get to work. Thanks for watching. I'm telling you, man, I just came back from the dead. All right, uh, let's go on. I'm going to just fly through these though now. Number six. Number six, number six, number six, learn video. Number five, learn video. Oh my God. I'm going to try to wrap this up in the next like 10 minutes. Oh my God. No. Yeah. Oh, kill me now. <sighs> learn video, learn video. 
I just taught you video. You don't need to learn video. Now just start doing video. Super easy. If you want to learn more, see, that's why people hire me as a one-on-one -on -one coach, because I can slow down. What I just, what I just showed you here is probably like four hours. If you really want to do it, I've got it. I've got the formula, but you're not going to pick it up on the replay and be like, okay, what do you do? What was that? Where do you send it? Syndication? What? RSS? Oh, geez. <laughs> Shell out the money. Give the guy what he needs. And I'm not, you know, the funny thing about my one-on-one -on -one coaching is that I'm not looking to make a profit off my one-on-one -on -coach, one -on -one coaching. I'm $150 an hour. And that's how much I make selling real estate. So the fact is, if you take me from my real estate business for one hour, you're going to pay for it. So I'm not saying $300. So you're not even paying for my knowledge. You're paying for my time. If I, you paid you for my knowledge, you'd be more. Okay. So let's be realistic. It's not that much when I deliver your industry in, in on a platter. Okay. You're welcome. All right. So learn video, please learn video and learn video. And that includes uh, step five is blog and blog. Vlog being a video series, just like I showed you Instagram stories and Snapchat and uh, syndicated over to Facebook. And, uh, and um, yeah, just create, 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 create. You are never going to be popular. No one will ever see it. And you are not ever going to catch up. And you're like, well, what if I put too much? What if I do too many? What if I do too much? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Now, obviously, if you have a Facebook feed and you've got 500 friends and every day, like three times a day, you're like, ha ha, I'm, a real, I'm still in real estate, everybody. Ha, huh? is there anything I wouldn't do for a referral? I'd jump for joy for a referral. I would eat turds for a referral. <laughs> I'm a turd. Like, do I turn my teeth? <laughs> Shut up. Be yourself. Oh, and by the way, you're an agent. That's how it works. Be yourself. And by the way, you're an agent. That's how originality wins, man. Look at all these sh crappy shows on TV. These realistic, re these uh, desperate, really desperate housewives of any town USA. That's how it exists. You're like, nobody cares. Well, tell that to Bravo. People care. They'll watch this crap. And if you're slightly interested, I'll watch it. If you're slightly interesting, I'll watch it too. Give me your channel. <laughs> Otherwise, don't bother me. I got enough subscriptions on YouTube to watch every day. I, I follow too many people. Okay, so uh, let's jump to business. I'm going to rapid fire this now. Business, business building. Step one, gather your data. Gather everybody you know in the world, on the planet, into a database. That's right. Gather them into a, a pile, tissues, napkins, the chick you met last night, the girl you met last night. Gather everybody in the world. Step one for any real estate agent, gather your data. Gather your list, meaning everybody you know, high school, your your little black book, your little list of you know, uh, your parole officer, everybody, put them in a pile, right? And this might actually be out of order um, because you've got to identify your area. That's step seven. Identify <clears throat> area. There's two regions where you have to identify on day one. There is what I call a sphere of it, intense interest, meaning an immediate area that you, anybody farts, you want to smell it. I know it's gross, it, but it's going to be an area of, th this is how you identify it. It's called a sphere of intense interest, S-O-I-I, -I, sphere of intense interest. Your sphere of intense interest, if you have a kid and they're in elementary school, go to the elementary school website and find the border of their attendance that's your sphere of intense interest. And when they go to middle school, find the border of that. And it'll probably be in the same border of the elementary school. That too is a geographical sphere of intense interest. Anybody lists, sales, for sale by owner, expireds, open house, anything comes on the market. You know it. You preview it. You see it. You door knock it. You solicit. You blank it. It's not going to be a farm because it'll probably be too big and you'll go broke and it's not worth it. But it will be something like anybody, anybody, anybody does anything. That's your backyard. You are a lion and you are pissing on every corner there as if to say, uh-uh, 
Nobody comes in. You get mad when someone gets a listing. You're like, oh man, are you kidding me? That was Mrs. Such and Such. I knew because I door knocked them because da, 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 da. I mean, you know things. There's a super, oh my God. This is something that I learned way too late in the game. I was uh, My first 15 years of real estate, I was doing $300,000 a year, purely cold calling pure cold calling, no past clients, no sphere of influence, no zero, zero. Nobody knew me. It was a phone call, a presentation, a sale. And then I discovered brand and the rest of it. And that was a whole different element. I made twice as much because I figured that out. Don't make the same mistake I did by thinking that you can call the entire database that all the expireds are low hanging fruit. And so I'm willing to drive 45 minutes. No, unless you're geographically disabled, your sphere of intense interest should be small. And then you have what's called a sphere of interest, which a sphere of interest is that region where you're like, if somebody says, come list me, you'll go, but you're gonna be like, Oh, I better, I better pack a lunch, <laughs> right? Like you plan your whole day around that trip. Cause it's so effing far. You dig? I hope I, I need to get a, I need to high fives every once in a while, guys. You, you know, I feel like I'm talking to myself and to talk this rapid and like intense and give you so much value and not be getting a, a high five or a cheer or like one of those hearts are flying across the screen. It really makes me feel like I'm not doing anything good here. Self-esteem issues, I know. So. All right. So um, becoming the digital mayor. Uh, let me see, where are we at? Blog business, blog business. You gather your list, identify your area, sphere of intense interest and sphere of interest. Identify your area. Use a CRM. Get them all into a CRM. Contact relationship man manager. Doesn't matter who you use. Doesn't matter who you use. I use Mojo. Mojo does everything. If you're spending, thank you for the amens, by the way. If you're spending any money on any CRM, it better be Mojo. End of story. Thank you. Lion Desk, out. <clears throat> Red X, out. Land Voice, out. Zendesk, out. Whatever desk, any, anything, out, 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 out. What the company gives you, it's free, right? <sighs> you can get away with it, but there's certain functionalities that you might want to do. And uh, I just use Mojo. Just make sure that it can keep a next call date, send email, and know the emails have been sent and received. Follow-up boss is okay, um, but not like Mojo. Uh, that it does the ability to call, mail, and email with analytics on all of those. End of story. Don't even get me started. Everything here is, I, I swear to God, I could do a five hour webinar, seminar on every one of these. I've got so much to say about this and it's not just yapping on. I, you can see, I, hopefully I'm dropping the bombs, right? You guys, <clears throat> hopefully. Okay. Now, let's see, uh, eight CRM, put them in a CRM, find a contact relationship manager, whatever it is that you've got to do, uh, use a CRM and, and don't automate. One of the biggest mistakes I've made recently of times is don't think that because they're in the CRM, don't think that because you put them into a database and don't think that because you're dialing them, but they're not picking up that it's work. You know, I, I, I mean, all these people, they're like, they think that they could tweet or, or text or mail their way into success but when you start automating things things start slipping through the crack cracks it's not the most important thing you do is get in front of the person face to face that's all there is to it and if you go 30 days without speaking to a lead that's not good so <clears throat> okay so nine uh is uh you it, it put a crm together mojo if you want to know more again i do one-on-one -on -one coaching go to jamesfestini.com i'm available and uh, i've just dropped my Jeez, what was that noise? I just dropped my, there was, that was a very loud noise. Wow. Where did that noise come from? And please God, don't let it happen again. <laughs> I don't know where that noise came from. Okay. Uh, it's in my computer though, for sure. That's scary. All right. <clears throat> so, um, 
yeah, just don't automate. Uh, if you guys want to do one-on-one, -on -one, get a hold of me. Uh, I have just reduced, by the way, this is a commercial. I now offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. It was $1,500 for the last six months. I have now dropped it to $1,000 for 60 days, $500 for two months. And it's about an hour, about 45 minutes each session, one-on-one, -on -one, you and I FaceTime. Uh, we do usually do Zoom. So I do a screen share. We set up and all of these things, like there's, I, I've got people in one-on-one -on -one with me for years right now who are um, super, super needing to like stay with me for years. And so I've, I've reduced it for them too. past is the past moving forward. Any new signups will be, uh, yeah, a thousand bucks. But if I get too busy, then I got to raise it again. But I had a few openings in the, in my space. So if you guys are interested in one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you, you talk to me. Yeah, I think Mike, Mike Ferry is like a 1200. I think Tom Ferry is like at 800 and you don't talk to him. And that's a month I'm saying a month and you don't talk to them. The, I'm, I'm ground troops. So I'll teach you how to do this. Okay. Let me fire away more uh, items. Uh, number nine is going to be build your letter library. I use snail mail efficiently build letters. If you're going to reach to people, there are very few avenues of how you can actively campaign an individual. And that's going to be with building letters. Um, and mail, snail mail, snail mail's back big time. Have you looked in your mailbox? It's skimpy. Like my mailbox is very skinny. Mail's back. Yeah, it's 50 cents or something like a card. But if you have leads, mail to them. If you don't have leads, then don't mail to people. I'm not talking about mailing to a city. I'm not talking about mailing to a whole neighborhood. I'm talking about get a lead, put them on a mailer campaign. That's a CRM. CRMs will do that. Okay, number 10. We are build your presentation. That's right. Build your presentation and your materials. Make sure that you have your slam packages. What's a slam package? One-on-ones. Um, build presentation material. Build marketing material. Build inside of your MLS. There's all sorts of pages where you do learn to see a CMA. Build the materials. Learn how to print out a CMA and put that together so that you can deliver a package when they say, yes, I am interested. If you get a call from someone who says, I heard you're an agent and you're like, yes, build something ahead of time so that when they, they call you, you're not scrambling and knocking on your, your manager's door and saying, what do I do? Um, you drop off something. That's what I teach my one-on-ones. We will sit there and dissect and create a customized, what I call slam package, a full blown CMA marketing package that will knock their socks off and it's customized for you. All right. Uh, next thing, uh, number 11, number 11, where is it? Number 11, it's going to be a combination of, um, where is it? Number 11, 11, uh, 11 is going to be learn the objections, learn where well, this is. We're now into the client section, by the way, whoops, did I go into 10? Yeah, now we're into the client section. That was about building your business. What? Yeah, build presentation, build letters, use this CRM. Am I totally off my numbers here? Eight, nine, ten, build. Yeah, build your presentation, ten. Build your presentation. So <clears throat> am I losing my mind here? Eleven. 11 is learn the top objections, right? That shouldn't be there. That's what I'm getting confused by. 11 is learn the top objections and learn the words, words, learn words. Now we're talking about clients and client acquisition. How do we get humans to sign contracts? How do we get people to say yes to us? How do we engage in conversations now that we've got the foundation now that we're not socially awkward and we're not all greasy faced. And now we, now that people are kind of starting to get to know us and we build our brand and now we've got a business set up and we've gathered a list of people and now we're, you know, re identified the area and we've been marketing and every once in a while we get a lead or we hold an open house or whatever is, you know, if things are starting to progress, because again, the new product, the T100 is a hundred days of getting you started at jamesfestini.com. You're going to want to build your, your book of readiness, your portfolio, your presentation, your package. You got to go to the lab and build something to sell. And when it's you, it's just you. And that's what we've done in these first two sections. You build your brand and then you build the, the tools to sell it. Oh my gosh. 
learn the words. People are going to ask you certain questions. It's, I've been doing this since 1993, almost 26 years. They're, the words haven't changed. Here's some words you're going to hear. How's the market? You ever heard that one? All the time. So why don't you learn what to say? Why don't you learn something to say? Here's what you say. How's the market? It's pretty good. Interest rates are still historically low. Are you thinking of buying or selling anytime soon? How's the market? It's pretty, I'm keeping very busy. You guys in the market? How's the market? Yeah, it kind of slowed down over the winter, but it's definitely planning on picking up. Interest rates are, you know, four and a little bit. It's still low. Are you thinking of buying or selling? Are you a homeowner? Right? You hear those? Those are easy. How's the market? I'm very busy. Can I help you? Are you thinking of buying or selling? Do you have any real estate questions? I'm standing here. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing this since 93, man. It's been, it's been pretty good. Just work hard, play hard. Oh, okay. That's good. <clears throat> and then we move on to other topics. Like you don't go in there and keep closing. If they're not interested, they're not interested. That's called conversation. You don't sell. This is a soft sale. They will come to you when they're ready. So how's the market? What's your commission? Well, hey, James, what's your commission? Have you ever had that one? I know. Maybe these are, maybe these are just unique to my marketplace. I don't know. You tell me. Hey, uh, I'm thinking about selling my house. What's your commission? And my commission's negotiable. I'm not going to lose the job over commissions. How about we do this? Let's set an appointment. I want to talk about what you want to get before we talk about what I want to get. If I can't get you what you want, I don't want to even bother talking about what I get, what I want. How about that? Tomorrow, 10 o'clock, you like, you like that one? You guys are like, oh, that's a good one. Mark that timestamp, 102.50. I want that script. Let's not talk about what you're going to get. Now, let's not talk about what I want. I'm not going to be even talk about commission until I know what you want. How much do you want to walk away with? Because if I make $100 or $10,000, you still have a number in your mind. So let's get together. Boom. Know your words. Uh, I have a friend in the business. Oh, you got a friend in the business? All right. Are they around here? Well, no, they're out of LA. All right. Are you going to be hiring them? Well, we were thinking about it. Smoke screen, friend in the business, not really friend. Well, it turns out it's somebody from escrow from around the corner. That's not a friend. You know, I find sometimes that doing business with friends is, is a tough thing. I'll bet you that your friend says the same thing to anyone they meet, that they shouldn't do business with friendships. So why don't we take your friend's advice? And why don't you let me handle this transaction? Because you know, business and friends is just not a good thing, right? I mean, besides this friend, would you think that I'd be more qualified to handle the job? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, like I said, let's just take his advice not to do friends, not to do business among friends. Oh, what? Did you just use their words to cancel their own damn what? Yeah, man. I guarantee you they say the same thing. You shouldn't do friends and you shouldn't do business with friends. You know, normally a friend wouldn't tell you the things that you need to hear if the house isn't selling or you know, just be afraid of hurting your feelings. They'd be reluctant to to give you honest feedback where me, I'm kind of a neutral third party. You seem like a nice person, but I'm going to be a professional. I'm going to treat this like, you know, if your friend was, uh, let's say you had, let's say you need a brain surgery and your friend was a doctor, a podiatrist, let's say he's a doctor, but you need brain surgery. Would you have them try it? Or would you just go to a brain surgeon? They kind of understand. Well, that's what I do. I'm, I'm a brain surgeon. This is my brain. Your Belinda is my brain. They want to do podiatry in, you know, Long Beach. I'm cool with that. As a matter of fact, I'd like to get their information so that I can refer them information, you know, refer them some deals. I'd love to pay it forward. But, you know, between you and I, oh, I have a friend in the business. Well, you know what? How about I just, uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. I don't need to teach you. But if you want, you can hire me as a one-on-one -on -one coach and I will teach you this stuff. I know them all. There is no objection I can't handle 10 times. I'm like the Encyclopedia Objecticanica. Okay. All of them. Uh, I'm going to do this on my own. Okay. <clears throat> no problem. You want to do this on, on your own? How long do you think you'll try it before you consider hiring an agent? Until I die. All right. Well, take your time with that. It'll be all right if I come by. Are you going to hold open house this weekend? Yep. Okay, great. I'd like to take a look at the place. All right. No problem. Take a look. Hmm, looks good. Okay. Have a nice day. 
then come back. Oh man, you don't even get me started on my for sale by owner. I just go back in, I go in the back door and they're like, who's in the back door? It's like me. All right, I'll sign the contract. Mm. Internet leads. That's uh 13. I'm going to open up a huge can of worms, but I'm going to close it before it starts spilling out. So number, uh, yeah, number 12 was internet leads. Internet leads are on a massive, massive, massive decline. Zillow has hired telemarketers to qualify their leads. Why? Now, why would Zillow hire telemarketers to pre-qualify their leads? That is the weirdest thing. What other company on the planet has ever pre-qualified a lead? Doesn't that sound weird to you? It's because they're not leads. I vow from this day forward, and you take this vow with me and say it out loud, and even if you type it, it's not a lead. It's an inquiry. It's not a lead. It's an inquiry. Everybody pissing and moaning, wah, wah, wah. I can't convert these leads. I can't convert these leads. Well, guess what? They're not leads. They're inquiries. Is somebody who walks into your open house a lead? No, it is not a lead. But when they come in, you say, hi, how can I help you? We're all looking. We've been looking for about a month. Aha, now it's a lead. They walk in the open house and they say, well, we're interested in selling the house. Uh, we're, we're, we're in the neighborhood, but we're just nosy neighbors. We're going to live there till we die. Is that a lead? No, that is not a lead. That is an inquiry. Oh, great. You know, you have any idea what it's worth? What your house is worth? No, no, we should, we never sell. We're going to leave it to the kids. All right, bam, not a lead. So identify, know the difference between a lead and an inquiry. You see in 2005, 2003 to 2013, it was a lead. You do something on the internet and then a name and a number pops up. You can call the person, the person's there and they're like, yeah, as a matter of fact, and you can set an appointment, you can close them. But then from 13 ish, maybe even a little bit earlier, it started getting to where there were more leads than there were houses being sold. Yet the internet got really good at getting leads and now they started getting crappy and they started converting into inquiries. And now the internet got really good at generating internet inquiries. And so they'll turn around, they'll say it, hey, newbie agent, the top agent, let me show you what he's doing. And we're getting 100,000 impressions. You're like, I'm impressed. Where do I sign? And then you go in there and you sign a contract. And six months later, you're like, it's not there. And you see the rise of, the rise of Tom Ferry, the rise of se uh, the iPhone, the rise of Keller Williams, and the rise of Zillow, and the rise of the internet lead has culminated to a huge downfall in the team structure and the pay here, go to the back room, sign up, pay here for the service and you will get leads. And all of that's going to dissolve. You're going to see all of the song and dance. You're going to see all these team leaders who were being able to dump $10,000 a month on internet leads cannot support these little pio pio. You know what the pio pio is? This little bird that waits for mommy to give them a word. Pio 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 pio. That's, that's the, what they call team leader because they would say, come join us. We'll give you leads. But now they're saying, come join us. They're inquiries. Not really. And then the team leaders are like, I can't get them to close them because they're inquiries. And I keep thinking they're leads. You know, I got to cancel. This. this is too much. Let's just go back to being a single agent. You know, can I still go back to work at Coca-Cola? <laughs> you don't believe me? How many team leaders? Look, go check. There's going to be, it'll come out soon the fall of the Keller Williams platform model of team building is going to decline unless they figure out another way to feed the hungry birds that these leaders have said, follow me. I will lead you into the pastures of leads. I've got leads. Join my company. We've got leads. We got internet. You don't think it's true? You don't think I see this stuff? I got work to do. I'm sitting here with you guys. You got to listen. Got a lot of work to do. All right. So internet leads. No bueno. You want to do it? Fine. Facebook ads. If you got a listing, no listing, no pay Facebook. Do not pay Facebook unless you have a listing to market. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Um, Number 13, is it, are we on number 13? Yeah, number 13. 
Uh, I'm talking about leads, lead generation, client, client acquisition, what to do, open houses, still old school, open house. End of story, guys, open house, open house, open house, learn to do open houses, learn to do better open houses and do them every Saturday and Sunday from freaking sunrise to sunset if you have to on a vacant house. If you got no business, shove a damn sign in the yard and sit there. And then what? Just pick up the phones and start cold calling. So what? You got nothing better to do. Oh, well, my kids, I got to see their game. Fine. As soon as game's over. Bye, kids. It's work hard, play hard. There are people hungrier than you who want to get there. And I'm saying all of these things, a lot of these things are just when, until you get there, once you get there, then you can pull, pull, you know, push off the brakes. Once you have a goose that lays the golden egg, you don't have to sit there and bash your head against the wall so hard. You can do it, but you're building a business. Has any entrepreneur ever said the first three, five years weren't excruciating, you know, growth. It's the way it is. You open up a restaurant, it's hell. You think it's great. It's hell. And then it goes and then it's on. That's how every business is. This is a potential. This business has a potential to earn a million bucks a year with such little education. Did you know it takes more education to cut hair than it does to sell real estate? How about that? Chew on that one. Yeah. My barber is more qualified to cut hair than I am to, well, not me, but if you just got your license, then you are to sell real estate. <laughs> Weird, right? Weird, weird, weird. It should take, it shouldn't, I would say now that I'm in the business, it should take a lot, it should be a lot harder for you guys to get in. But now that you're here, you're here. All right. Finally, I get a name. Uh, so finally I get Jessica is engaging, throwing a couple emojis. Thank you for watching everybody. Wow. This is really, this is a, this is a good seminar. This is good. I'm feeling it. I got to go. Uh, prospect. Uh, you know me, I'm a prospecting machine. I strongly recommend that you pick up your phone pick up your feet and start prospecting. Get yourself to a point where you have what I call the T100. Learn to generate 100 bona fide listing leads. And guess what? I have a program. It's called the Beast Mode Lead Gen Prospecting Challenge. I guarantee you that, and I've done this over and over and over and over proving to you guys live on the internet in front of Facebook, in front of YouTube. And I've had dozens of people go through this program. It's work. Door knock 100 doors a day or telephone prospect contact 100 people by phone a day. And I promise you within 90 days or hundred days T100, I will give you 100 leads. You will generate one to three bona fide listing leads every day for the next 100 days on the beast mode lead gen prospecting challenge get to 100 build the prospect if you're door knocking holding open houses whatever the the ultimate goal is to get to 100 your top 100 leads and then work that list all right prospecting uh, that's like that's my that's my livelihood all right 15 learn the difference between yes and no really yeah there are variations and this is huge when somebody says when you say are you interested in selling and they say no how do they say it this is huge do they go no or do they say no nah no not right now no maybe later no nah nah no mm. <laughs> well no do you see the difference between no and no? And of course, yes. But very few people say yes. If they say yes, then that's a lead. T100, bam. Learn the difference between yes and no. And that's something, again, I teach. I can't go into it too much, but it is very, very obvious when you ask somebody, are they thinking of buying or selling? Learn how to hear with a finely tuned ear whether or not it is a no or it is a no. And if it's a no, learn to ask it a second question. What do you think maybe later down the road you'd reconsider? Well, maybe, and they tell you it all. That's what I do. That's how I do it. No lead left behind. Ooh, that's a big one. No lead left behind. Oh, that's 16, 12, 13. Oh, well, bonus. Bonus. No lead left behind. Everybody is a lead. If somebody says maybe, don't throw it away. They say, yes, never throw it away. Okay. No lead left behind. Now we're going to go into the sale. The last three build communication. 
when you do actually get someone to say yes to you, communicate, 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 build systems and platforms and reminders and algorithms and setups so that when people trust you to, to work for them as a bona fide representative of their contract, do not effing pass it off to someone who doesn't give a shit. Do not pass it off to a virtual assistant. 25 years, six years later, I do not have a virtual assistant. You should not have a virtual assistant until you're at least 10 transactions, active contracts with your name on it, whether it says active, pending, in escrow, on hold. If you got 10, then talk about a virtual assistant. If you don't have 10, kiss my ankle. And at 10, not a virtual assistant. Find someone in the office who can handle this, someone who can look at it and say, what the hell? Why isn't this done? You're fired. You good? You good? Okay. This is your client, man. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, whatever marketplace you're in, and you're going to pass that shit. You got to learn. We're talking to new agents here. You got to learn. You're talking to old agents, then you probably should have a system by now. I can handle 10 on my own, 10 active listings. If they're, especially, but if it, boom, 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 yeah, I mean, the automation, and it, it would be a chaos. But trust me, there, if you're doing good in this business, there's going to be moments where it's going to be like, ah, usually when it does that, you get paid. Okay? So it's okay. I love it when I'm just like, wow, that was a crazy day. Can you believe that, man? The calls, da, 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 da. boom, there's a paycheck right there on the other side of that. Learn how to handle that. Learn how to set up your business to do these things. You think, thank you. Thank you for the thank yous. <sighs> Let me see. So this is in the sale. Yeah, just um, build. That's it. What, did I, what was the word? Build communication. Build communication. But it, it, the communication is, is not uh, verbal. It's also... In integrations and systems in the back end of your platform to maximize efficiency so that once you, you know, you're going to have one file. Come on. If, if you're losing your crap over one file, suck it up. Okay. What are you going to do when you get 10? You're going to grow. It's like a weight. You pick up 10 and you're, uh -huh, uh -huh. And you pick up 20, you're like, ah. <laughs> and you're 30, you're like, Arr. and then 40, you're like, Arr. get stronger. It's just the way it is. Get better, get better, get better, get stronger. Do it. Build systems. Build, I guess I want to say build systems would be systems. But those systems are not systems to stop talking to your clients. The whole point is that you're talking to the clients. Don't like automate crap. I'm so sick of automation. Today, I've said probably three or four times to my one-on-ones, I would probably be better hitting print on all of my leads and setting my computer on fire. I could probably earn 500 Gs printing my database right now and stepping away from this thing and just using my snap glasses to share it all. I'm not kidding. By the way, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's fun. Follow me on Snapchat if you got Snapchat. It's the same thing. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram. I always, I'm such a bad Instagram sharer. I put a content there every day, but I never tell people to follow me. So go to Instagram, James Festini. Uh, prepare materials. Again, this is about preparing the materials. Um, once you are, you know, in the business, the communications, the materials, the pre-listing packages, the the marketing packages, the closing packages. Um, open house signs, you know, banners, flyers, um, you know, all the materials that you need, you know, to, to the, get your sold signs, right? You need to prepare your materials for the closing, the, the contracts, be ready with them, have them in your car, have hammers and nails and tape and, and toilet paper and Lysol and a pair of gloves have, be prepared, build your materials, right? Get, prepare your materials, be prepared for anything that happens. Have, you know, uh, have a box in the trunk of your car with measuring tape, two-sided tape, zip ties, prepare materials, you know, Boy Scout style. We're talking like physical materials, um, contracts, have a couple of listing contracts sitting in the trunk of your car. You never know. Prepare materials, stick a couple for sale by owner slam packages in the trunk of your car and be ready. If they say I'm interested, 
drop a for you know if you see a for sale by owner prepare materials have your notepads or your pens or your papers ready to go have your um, materials ready to do like handwritten thank you cards if you go up and you see a for sale by owner go knock on the door they don't answer you can go to your car print out a hand, you know have a hand through prepare materials have yourself open up the trunk of your car and have you know go to a wood, wood shop class and build a damn real estate office in the trunk of your car with a printer yeah a printer put a printer in the trunk of your car with an inverter that takes from the cigarette lighter into a printer and shove it in the back of your car with a stack of paper. And when you find a Fizbo and you want to do a slam package, go out there, take a picture, slap it to the front using Canva, boom, stick it in the front cover, bam, bing, bang, boom, go up to the door, hi, this is such and such. I just want to leave this information. Sorry to bother you. Hey, can we see an appointment? I'm going off the rails here. And of course, follow up, follow up with everything. Everything, uh, <clears throat> did I say, you know what? That wasn't a bonus. <laughs> Damn you. No, but taking back the bonus. That was not a bonus. That was actually my numbering system. So there's uh, 16, 17, 18. Wait, hold on now. All right. So um, let's go 17. I knew I had 19 prepared. I was like, how did that number get right? I, I was trying to order it so that you guys. Okay, follow up. Follow up. No more falling off the radar. No more excuses. You've got so much technology in the palm of your hands. There is no reason why any of your leads should fall through the cracks. There is no reason why you cannot do this real estate thing. You've got so much technology. You've got so many resources. Follow up. Follow up with your clients. Follow through with what I just taught you. Everything here. Follow up. Become better at your social media follow up like I'm, I'm i've taught you guys a lot of material follow up on it you got you know someone says i'm interested in selling your i'm selling my house follow up follow through like the most successful people in the world they follow up they they don't just start they they follow up now not to be confused with follow this could also be okay you might give me i give you a bonus here's the bonus don't follow me. What? Don't follow me. Don't follow me unless it's only me. I don't believe that you should have more than one guru unless it's for other things. I'm not going to teach you about health and fitness, although I might later. I'm not going to teach you about underwater basket weaving. I'm not going to teach you about car repair. I'm not going to teach you about anything but what I do. If you like what I've given you, if you like my words, and if you like my style, then follow me, but follow no one else. When I started in this real estate business, there were three people, three, only three people you could follow. Mike Ferry, Tom Hopkins, Floyd Wickman. That was it. And Tom Hopkins was kind of sales. So it was really Mike Ferry and Floyd Wickman. And people would come up to me and say, so what are you, a Mike Ferry or are you a Floyd Wickman? Like, well, I'm more Floyd Wickman. You never heard of Floyd Wickman. He steps all over Mike Ferry. But there were only two people, Mike Ferry and Floyd Wickman. You guys know who Mike Ferry is. You know, Floyd Wickman, maybe don't know who Floyd, but they were like, there was only two. And if you wanted to get learning from the real estate world, that was it. In 1993, that was it. Now, don't get me wrong. There were dozens, a half a dozen of go other guys in the circuit, right? There was Joe Stump. Brian Buffini was around, but he wasn't, he's still kind of the same. Like, I don't, it's so weird. As big as he is, I don't really, he doesn't have a whole lot of, I, got, I, don't, I don't know. He was around, but I don't think he's there. You know what I mean? But we're talking about, um, you can't see past the 15. With a full, even with a full screen view, that's weird. Uh, well, you guys are all gonna. By the way, you're all gonna get a. Uh, you're all gonna get this in the form of a. Well, hold on, let me see here. I think I can get this. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. There. Can you see now, everybody? Maybe. No. I can see it, and I'm seeing what are you seeing? Anyhow, um. Don't follow me unless you're ready to follow your dreams. <laughs>
but there's there, like, there's a dude out there who's doing like free coaching and training. Follow him. You don't want to pay for it. Follow him. But if you're not getting what you want, like this is a religion, people. If you go to a mosque and then you go to a you know, mass, I don't know anything about religion, a little bit, some. You go to a Mormon church, then you go to a Catholic church, then you go to a Muslim church, then you're in the Jewish place, and then you and then you, but and you do this all on Sunday. By Monday, you're like you don't know which way you're going. You're reading the Satanic Bible, and you're going to Dianetics. You're gonna be all messed up in the head. That's how real estate is. You've got to find one leader and say, if this is robust, if this is the, you, you have to find your real estate messiah and say, I will follow you because you clearly have resonated with everything I say. And if I didn't resonate, if I, if this hour and 26 minutes did not give you guys the, <laughs> this, this guy's it, right? I mean, in, in an hour and 20 minutes, I managed to, this each one of these topics are at least four hours. I could talk on them in, 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 for ends, right? And there's a few people in the group who are my one-on-ones or they've been through the programs. If you guys, you know, if you guys, um, the, I've got, I've got all the programs out there. I'm launching one right now called T100. It's going to be, a, it's going to be a thousand bucks. And it's going to be a 100 day everyday program, which is going to deep dive into this thing. If you guys are interested, uh, email me james at jamesfestini.com. Find me, uh, all the people who have registered here and said, uh, their email address. I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to look it up. Just make sure if you guys want to start right, this T100 is going to be a daily doses of like everything I've talked about here, but deep diving so that once a day, you'll be able to log into a university style platform and say, day one. And it's gonna be a hundred days of like, do this, now go to work, do this, now go to work. Okay. The whole thing revolves around you. First of all, generating a database of 100 people. But while you're doing that, there's so many other things you need to do, but you need to build that database. If you don't have 100 people who, you know, off the top of your head are thinking of selling in the next 365 days, I say 100 because 50 of them probably won't be selling and 20 or 30 of them won't be selling with you. That's 20. Do you see the math? Do you see the math? 100 top bona fide listing leads as fast as possible, which that T100 also includes the uh, beast mode lead gen prospecting challenge. So if you guys want to just like step it up a thousand bucks, you'd be done. Like you get everything I got for a thousand bucks. And then you can do the one-on-one -on -one coaching for a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks. You'd be like, just you know, put it in you and, and we'll be, you'll be going. But it'll be more than you can handle, right? There's so much you can do. But I, your best bet is, you know, do the one-on-one. -on -one and I will deliver. This is what I deliver in the one-on-one. -on -one and I dig deep with you more customized. So you can either, you know, spend a thousand bucks on the, you know, on the, t but yeah, no, even with one-on-one, -on -one, you'd have to go through like six months of one-on-one. -on -one and you'll never, you'll never get it all. I'm 26 years of like a lot of stuff going on. And I need you to try to just take just scrape this, the cream from the top and say, this is all I need, James. I don't need, I, I really don't want to do video and blogging. I would really just rather not. I'm like, okay, but you do realize your competition is, right? Okay, we'll work on it, but let's try later. <laughs> I want to help you guys. If you guys don't see that I want to help, just, um, again, go to jamesfestini.com and go to training. And you'll see I've got a ton of various products the best of the best is the T100. Um, so go there. Um, yeah. And sign up for the T100 ASAP. Uh, James, I should put the link here. Um, Jamesfestini.com and do the T100. And that'll be by the end of the day. Uh, also make sure that you email me because I've got this whole list here. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start as soon as you guys start seeing your emails, you're going to start seeing an email that says, hey, you're registered for some platform or something. I just just accept it so that I can send you that link because I'm going to I have a platform called um, Active Campaign or something. So when I send it to you, if you don't accept that invitation, 
then I'm not going to send it because it's going to market as spam and you won't get it. Does that make sense? So if you start, if you see an invite or something from James Festini, just uh, accept that you agree to receive the email because it's going to be a bulk email and I can only do it through that platform. Otherwise, I'll spend my whole life doing it. Uh, if you guys ever need anything from me, make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. It is James Festini. Everything I do is James Festini. There's no variation on it. It's James Festini. James Festini on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, my 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 main my main game snapchat only because i'm a prolific snapchat content creator but it doesn't mean that you'll miss out if you don't go to instagram because everything i do on snapchat goes to instagram goes to facebook goes to youtube and back to instagram so you're good instagram stories and uh, follow my vlog having a good time this episode is brought to you by MojoSells.com. Expires for sell by owners and prospecting solutions along with DNC compliance. It is my CRM of choice because I can set up emails and letters and follow-up campaigns to follow up more efficiently with the leads that I generate. Go to MojoSells.com and make sure you tell them Festini sent you. This episode is also brought to you by Spotio, the perfect door knock companion. Download the Spotio app today. You want more knowledge? Please find me anywhere you consume content on YouTube. Go to James Festini. If you want to listen to my content on iTunes, please leave me a five-star review. Join the Festini Mafia at jamesfestini.com forward slash training. There you'll find all of my products and information. If you'd like to make money, get back to work.